Let's face it, sweaty, smelly armpits can knock your confidence no matter the situation. So whether you're battling with excessive sweating or smelly armpits, in this video, I'm gonna give you some treatments and tips that are really gonna help. So without further ado, let's begin. So tip number one, let's first talk about the two biggest culprits for smelly armpits. I'm gonna make this really simple. It's bacteria and trapped sweat in your clothes. Because you see, when you sweat, it creates this perfect environment for the bacteria to thrive. And this is what basically causes that nasty odor, but it doesn't stop there. If you're then wearing the same shirt every day, for example, the bacteria stays there, gets more sweat, it continues to grow and expand and expand and expand. So the key here is changing your clothes regularly. After a day of wearing something, you've got to take it off, put it in the washing basket. And when you're doing your wash, make sure you wash it with hot water, with detergent to kill that bacteria. And one pro tip whilst we're on the topic of smelly armpits, make sure to dry yourself thoroughly after showering. Remember, bacteria thrive from wet environments. So the sweaty environments, they thrive with that. But also, if you're showering and you're damp and you're putting on your clothes, the bacteria is going to thrive with that as well. So really make sure you're drying yourself thoroughly. Straight on to tip number two, I want to talk about stress. Not enough people are talking about this. So basically, when you're stressed, your body activates what we call the sympathetic nervous system, aka this is the fight or flight response. And this basically results in more sweat production. And guess what happens then? Sweat production equals more bacteria equals more smelly armpits as well so sweat and smelly armpits so to keep sweat under control just by making a few lifestyle changes to lower your stress can have a massive impact so things, things like yoga meditation and deep breathing all of this can reduce our sweat levels even going for a nice walk that's what i love to do it just takes your mind off of things and lowers your stress levels straight on to tip number three believe it or not what you eat can actually make you sweat more Foods that are spicy, foods that are fatty, they can basically trigger your sweat glands by increasing your body temperature. When you eat something like that, your body's got to work a lot harder to digest it. And this basically increases the sweating. So try and reduce your intake of spicy foods, try and reduce your intake of fatty foods, as well as heavy meals too. All these things, we're trying to reduce the amount of energy you need, your body needs for that digestive process. Instead, focus on fruit, focus on vegetables, focus on lean proteins, they're all fantastic. These foods are also rich in vitamins and minerals that supports your body's natural cooling system and lastly don't forget to drink plenty of water all of this helps with excessive sweating as well straight on to tip number four now let's talk about the good stuff antiperspirants these products not only help you stay fresh but also reduce sweat production that's basically what an antiperspirant is it blocks sweat production unlike a deodorant which doesn't reduce your sweat production is basically an air freshener that's the best way to think of it so here at sweat block i want to talk about our clinic cool strength wipes we've got two types the smaller normal wipe and we've also got the extra large antiperspirant wipe these wipes contain something called aluminium chloride which is a very potent antiperspirant and by the way they're so potent that you only need to apply it at night once a week if you're using our aluminium chloride products and it's always best to apply it at night on dry skin and like i said once a week and that'll give you seven days of dryness now another one of our products at sweat block that also contains aluminium chloride is our sweat block roll on and again you apply it once a week exactly the same way this is just a preference really whichever you prefer either a roll on or a wipe really up to you now moving on to tip number five just a bit of a pro tip and it's really about application of antiperspirant patients always ask me how much do you apply because here's the thing how you apply antiperspirant really makes a big difference on how well it's going to work for you but the first question i want to ask is do you have underarm hair because if you have a lot of underarm hair it's not going to get to your skin so the antiperspirant the aluminium chloride in these sweat block products isn't going to get to your skin and it's not going to be able to block those sweat glands as effectively as it should so the best thing to do is give them a quick trim just so you can get to your skin and so the antiperspirant can do what it's meant to do another thing i always mention to patients is to apply your antiperspirant to clean dry skin very important that it's dry wet skin can firstly dilute the product and secondly aluminium chloride and water don't mix very well if your skin is wet it actually increases your risk of sensitivity so that's why you want it to be super dry to reduce the risk of sensitivity and straight on to number six nighttime application of antiperspirants this is probably one of the best kept secrets and everyone should know about this you see your body sweats less at night which basically gives the antiperspirant more time to work its magic and remember if you're using our sweat block clinical wipes or the clinical 
called Roll On. You only need to apply it once a week. Now, straight on to tip number seven. I want to talk about aluminium salts. All right, I want to make you a bit of a pro so you understand what the different aluminium salts are and what they mean in antiperspirants. So we spoke a lot about aluminium chloride and it's being very potent at blocking those sweat glands. But for example, if you look at our sweat block antiperspirant deodorant stick, it doesn't contain aluminium chloride. It contains aluminium zirconium tetrachlorohydrex GLY. Or for example, if we look at our sweat block quick dry foot lotion, this one contains aluminium sesquichlorhydrate. So I guess the question is, what's the difference here? They all contain aluminium, but they're different salts. So I guess the real difference here is that aluminium chloride is the most potent form. So we only need to apply it once every week. So once every seven days. But when we look at our other aluminium salts and our other products, these are fine for daily use. You can use them you know, two, three times a day as well if it's needed and then lower how much you're using it. But these aren't as potent, so you need to use them more often. That's basically the main difference here. Just one important tip as well, if you're ever using an antiperspirant, any new product that you've never used before, you should always do a patch test. And that basically just means apply a small amount to an inconspicuous area, leave it for 24 hours, check for any sensitivity, just to make sure that you have no problems with using an antiperspirant. So there you have it guys, that's everything you need to know to stop sweating so much from those armpits and get rid of smelly armpits. I really hope you found this information helpful. If you know someone that would also find this information helpful please do share it with them we spend a lot of time and effort creating science-backed evidence-based information that everyone can find helpful so if you did find this video helpful please do leave us a like and a comment it will really help the video perform better so more and more people can see it as well and as we always like to say at the end of every single week's video sweat block sweat less live more